We carry so many emotions in our hips and our pelvic floor. And this video is a 15 minute hip, spine, and pelvic floor slow flow for emotional release. My name is Dr. Brianne Grogan. I'm a doctor of physical therapy, and I hope you'll join me for this beautiful slow flow. You will need to be seated on the edge, the front edge of a folded blanket, or you can be seated flat on the ground, uh, just in a cross-legged position. I'm going to be showing you on the front edge of a folded blanket. You can also be seated in a chair for some of these exercises if you get creative. So I'll show you little inset pictures a few times to show you what that might look like. So begin by very slowly side bending from one side to the other and really breathe, breathe deeply with this stretch. Feel like your hips are staying stable, planted on the ground or on the chair or on the folded blanket and really stretch your side waist, your ribs, breathe into the side body, back and forth. And for this whole workout, I want you to really feel like you're moving through water, moving very, very slowly, breathing deeply, maybe closing your eyes when you get the hang of the movement. Make it rhythmic and make it all about feeling inward. Breathing and moving, feeling inside. This is our last side bend right here. So instead of flowing to the other side, I want you to bring the top hand toward your opposite knee. The hand that was on the ground, bring it up toward the sky. Exhale and cross that hand onto the other knee. The hand that was under goes up. Exhale and cross it over. Keep going in this pattern. Hand goes up, crosses over to the opposite knee. The hand that the arm that was under goes up. And you exhale, cross it over. Keep going. If you don't get the pattern immediately, that's okay. Just think about breathing and moving, inhaling the arm up, exhaling and crossing it over, inhaling bottom arm up, exhaling, cross it on top, inhale bottom arm up, exhale, cross it on top. This time, keep your arms crossed and bring them up into an eagle arms wrapped position. So your arms are wrapped and your hands, maybe they're even clasping. In this position, draw tiny little circles, like your pelvis is the base that's staying stable and you're drawing tiny little circles over and above your pelvis. Your pelvis is of course moving, but pretend like you're drawing circles above the pelvis and then open your arms wide, open your heart and exhale, cross your arms the other way. And try to remember which way you circled before. Circle the other direction this time, reversing directions with your circles, about four to five circles in this direction. Breathing and moving. This is not about perfection. It's about feeling and going slow. Open your arms wide again. Inhale, expand your heart and then exhale. Cross your legs the other way. So the other leg goes in front or on top. Hands on your knees and you're going to do four to five big, slow heart circles. This time your circles are even bigger than they were before when your arms were crossed. So inhale forward and exhale back. You're still circling around your pelvis, inhaling forward and exhaling back. Inhaling forward, 
exhaling back. Sit up nice and tall and go the other direction with your circles. Inhaling forward and exhaling back. Now you're going the other direction. So again, even it out four or five times in this new direction. And just feel into your body. If any feelings come up, any emotions, let them be there. Let them be with you. Don't push them away. Sit up nice and tall. Roll your shoulders back. And now you're going to bring one leg behind you in this deer pose position. So one leg is forward, shin is parallel to the front of the mat. For me, it's my right leg. My right leg is forward, my left leg is back. And you can do this seated in a chair as well if you get creative. Now you want your hips, your pelvis to be grounded and stable on the ground beneath you. You can stay just like I was before with the hips just grounded and your arms down on the ground, or you can look over your front bent leg, put your hands behind your head and draw little tiny heart circles. You'll really feel this in your hips. Go three to five times in one direction, and then you're going to reverse directions with your heart circles. So now I'm reversing directions and going the other way. You'll really feel this deep in the hip socket. It's a different way to mobilize your hip joint by actually swirling and twirling and circling your upper body as your lower body and hips stay grounded. Hands on the ground and we're gonna transition into pigeon pose. So that back leg goes straight out behind you. For me, it's my left leg the right leg is bent in front of me. You might wanna lift that back knee up off the ground and make sure the leg is straight out behind you. Flow with this, inhaling up and exhaling down. If you're seated in a chair, you can see an alternative for pigeon pose in the inset picture. Breathe and flow in this beautiful stretch, such a great hip opener that can really bring up a lot of stuff. As you can see, I have padded up under my front bent leg. I've padded up with a blanket. You might wanna do that too. And we're just gonna rest here for a couple of breaths. So just rest, just breathe. Allow yourself to feel Inhale, look your head forward. Exhale, carefully, carefully bring that front leg back to join the other leg. So the front leg goes back. And you're gonna swirl between a puppy pose and then forward into a knee plank. So just roll and wave it out with me. You can take your time in each position. Take your time in the puppy pose. Take your time in the knee plank. Let yourself move like a wave and be sure that you're breathing. Do not hold your breath. Allow yourself to feel any emotions, any thoughts that come through. See if they have any messages for you. Stay here in this puppy pose, spreading your sitting bones apart, lifted toward the sky, releasing that pelvic floor. And then we're going to do the deer pose on the opposite side. So now my left leg is forward and my right leg is back. You can just stay grounded, seated nice and tall. 
Try to really press your hips down onto the ground so that they're even. Try not to lift one side of your pelvis off the ground. This might be enough to keep your hands on the floor or on the ground. But if you want a little bit more, face over your front bent leg and see how it feels to just be here or lift your arms up. Place your hands behind your head. Make sure as you place your hands behind your head that you're not jutting your head forward. You want to keep your head in line with the rest of your spine and then circle your heart three or four times in each direction and see how you can feel this deep in your hips. Go the other way with your circles and breathe. Feel every motion in your body as you transition into pigeon pose. So now my left leg is forward and the right leg is back. I'm going to pad up like I did before with that blanket under my hip. And you want to make sure that that back leg is straight out behind you. In this pigeon pose position, Adjust anything that you need to, and then flow with it. Breathe and flow, inhaling as you wave up and exhaling down if that feels right for you. Don't get too caught up in the breathing pattern. Just make sure that you are breathing and that you're not holding your breath. Allow yourself to feel any thoughts that come through, any emotions, Remember, they come like waves. Let them pass through. Learn how to ride those waves. And then just settle into your pigeon pose, however that looks for you. Maybe you're still up on your hands, maybe you're down on your elbows, but no matter what, make sure that you're breathing. Look forward, exhale, bring the front leg back to join the, the back leg, to join the other leg, and flow it out. Flow it out, this time circle it out. Circle around in any way that feels good to you. So maybe you're doing little circles on the floor beneath you. Maybe you're doing figure eights on the floor beneath you, wagging your your tail from side to side maybe that feels good or maybe you're doing cat and cow pose anything you want to do is perfect just go slower than you ever thought you could now cross your feet and come over your crossed feet and very very slowly come down through your side and onto your back We're going to end this session with your favorite position, whether it is a supported happy baby, mini happy baby with your hands behind your thighs or around your shins. Maybe it is in a chair and you are leaned forward onto yoga blocks. Maybe you are in frog stretch where you're holding on to the inner ankles, or maybe you're holding on to your outer feet in full happy baby. If you're in the full happy baby position, be sure that your tailbone is reaching down toward the floor and you're not peeled up off the floor. Try to really press your tail down toward the floor. Breathe, rock side to side if that feels good to you. And let anything else that may be coming up for you, any emotions, any feelings, just let them go. 
Let them flow so much better out than in. You can stay in your final pose for as long as you'd want. Take your time with this. Treat your body beautifully. Treat it well. You deserve it. You did a great job. Thank you so much for joining me. And I want you to know just how proud I am of you for doing this practice and taking care of yourself through these stretches. I'm sending you all my love and all my best wishes. I hope you enjoyed this. Do it as often as you need to release those stuck emotions. And until next time, remember, eat clean, move every day, and you will shine brighter. I'll see you next time.